Greetings, YouTube. The genealogists are coming for you. Last month, White House official Dan Scavino said chain migration was choking America. So Dan, genealogist Jennifer uh, Mendelssohn wrote in, on Twitter, Let's say Victor Scavino arrives from Canale, Italy in 1904, then brother Hector in 1905, brother Gildo in 1912, sister Esther in 1913, and sister Clotilde, Cl Clotilde, a name you don't hear much, um, and their father Giuseppe in 1916, and they lived together in New York. Do you think that would can count as chain migration? Your selective memory on your family history will do you no good because the geneal genealogists are coming for you. Not to mention, the first lady's parents are here because she brought them over after having her visa run out and was only able to stay in the U.S. because she married the president. So not only is that trying to escape deportation, but bringing over your family a form of, is, is chain migration, but neither of her parents have degrees or jobs. So what are they contributing? Well, they want to be citizens. They don't have to contribute anything to be a citizen of the United States. I can tell you right now, I know plenty of white people who despise the concept of immigration that contribute nothing to America other than neo-Nazi rhetoric. They are zero contribution to this country. And yet they're here. And they can be Americans. Because you don't need to be a contributor to just be an American. So, yeah, this is bullshit. And every time someone talks about chain migration, you need to call them on that. Because that's how migration has always worked. Always. Someone would go over, lay the foundations for a life, then they would bring over the rest of their families. That's just what migration is, and always has been. But by calling it chain migration, it sounds like it's something new, and it isn't something new. It's simply the form of migration that every human being has, all of our pasts are linked to. None of us came over here in one massive group, all at once, and just arrived. That's not how it functions. Some show up, they establish a base for their families, and their families arrive after. That's just migration, not chain migration just migration. Immigration. And immigrants add to our culture. When I was growing up in Manchester, New Hampshire, ethnic meant, uh, it meant like Polish or French or Greek. Now we have so many different ethnicities. We have, I don't know, a dozen representatives from, uh, a, a dozen different nations represented in my place of business just from Africa? Maybe more than that now? I can I can listen to people talking in, 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 you know, five or six different African languages in one day. From so many different places. All over South America. All over Europe. They're just from everywhere. From Asia. And it's cool. I like the, the diversity. The diversity adds to our strength. I'm not sure if you know anything about metallurgy. I know a little bit about it. If you have a pure metal, like, say, iron, pure iron isn't particularly strong. Do you know what makes iron strong? You add things to it. When you add those things to it, bingo. The iron becomes steel. And steel is superior to iron. We are better off with strong immigration policies that come in and allow people to be citizens. We need to streamline them. They're convoluted and complex. They're already being properly vetted, so we don't need to make them any more stringent than they already are. I know you'd like to make them perfect, but guess what? Plenty of people that were born here are a danger to society. And immigrants are actually less of a danger to society than are people who were born here. Look at the, st look at the statistics. But the racists out there don't want to think about that. They just want to rebrand migration as chain migration. Why? Because they and their families are here. And now they want to shut the door behind them and prevent anyone else from showing up. Because they're racists. And we need to call them on it. And we need to point out every time they try to try this bullshit to tell them, you're a racist. That's bullshit. Stop spreading lies. That's how 
your family got here. So try, stop thinking that you just magically appeared the entire Smith family all at once. Didn't work like that. Support migration. Support immigrants. Support diversity. It makes America stronger.